Welcome to my review of a new Chinese project. It's a manufacturer called OJ Coco. I never heard of it, but uh, they are new. So this is their first project. It's a tra transceiver type H550. And let's see what's in the box. I've got the the Canon version and the we're also making a Nikon version of this trigger. Um, the two triggers are identical, so you can use it on your camera and on your uh, on your speed light. Um, and they got some nice features on this trigger. So in the package there are some cables. This is cable for connecting to a studio strobe there's this connection for um, connecting to your remote control uh, option of the camera this is adapter plug for uh, 6.3 millimeters and there is this foot to connect your trigger to a light stand because there is no option to connect the trigger directly to your light stand you must use these, these foot I'm not recommending this because it's plastic and your speed light your pressure speed light can um, fall off or this can break down so I recommend to use a swivel like this one with a metal foot this one has got this uh, special um, place in the in the metal foot that uh, this this doesn't uh, shortcut your your, your connections on your trigger so when you you put it on you can see that the the, the contacts of your trigger are, are not shortcutted and with this kind of swivel you can you can tie things very um, good to your light stand and uh, you're not afraid to fall that, that your speed light will fall off the, the light stand so use these ones okay um, on the trigger there is a, a switch that you can choose the mode of the trigger so it has a off function it has a camera function it has a flash function and hold so when you put it on camera uh, you can connect the trigger to your camera and um, in flash mode you can connect it to your speed light in hold mode you can use like a remote control uh, to release your shutter remotely and there's two connections 2.5 for camera for the special camera remote control uh, cable and flash for um, connecting to your uh, studio strobes. On top of it, there's a hot shoe. Uh, hot shoe is TTL put through. So when you put it on your camera, and uh, you can uh, use the trigger and uh, uh, flash the speed light in TTL mode, but uh, in remote functionality TTL is not available so it's only manual when you use it remote then there are 60 channels to choose from you've got this release button also test button yeah got this LED to show you that the trigger is on it blinks once in a while and there are this groups three groups so and on this side you have this dial it has got a switch moment so this is the high speed uh, flash uh, synchronization option and I'm going to show you how this works okay when I turn on the the trigger uh, all the LEDs of the groups are going to burn to let me know that the trigger is turned on and I can now choose different groups so it's now in group 1, group 2, group 3 a combination of groups, group 1 and group 2 Group 1 and group 3, group 2, group 3, all together. Okay, the, the top LED is for the, the high speed function, so that's when I turn it on, it's gonna blink. And when it blinks, it's tell me it's in learning mode. So I first must let uh, the trigger know which kind of camera I use, and then um, after the learning mode, I can use it for high speed sync. The trigger is powered by triple A batteries. I think that's nice because some manufacturer use some exotic type of batteries and 
these ones are very easy to get in in every corner of the street so I like that they use the the, the triple a pen lights okay so I connect the speed light to one of the triggers and the other one to my camera uh, both my camera and the speed light are now in um, sleep mode so I'm gonna wake him up with the trigger and when I press the release button you can notice that my speed light is waking up you can see it's now turned on and um, I'm gonna show you some high-speed functionality of this trigger I've uh, connected the speed light to a power pack so I can uh, fire lots of uh, flashes and uh, also on full power and not uh, um, consuming uh, battery power in my speed light so what I'm gonna do is uh, I've also connected uh, this special remote control cable to the trigger it's necessary to use it for the high-speed sync and first I'm going to take a normal picture in normal mode of uh, um, a shutter speed of 250 and you're going to see that in the picture there are no black barns so I'm going to turn it on to 500 and take another picture and you will notice that there is a black bar under in uh, in the bottom of the picture there's a black bar it's the shutter that uh, blocks the light out of the picture and we're gonna see if we can do a better thing with the uh, high speed flash uh, functionality so uh, what I must do now is I turn it on uh, I don't know which kind of position it must be uh, I emailed the manufacturer about this and asked them uh, what the best uh, position is of the dial uh, when you are in learning mode and you see that the, the LED is blinking that tells us that it's in learning mode I must release the shutter once more and now it stopped blinking and it, it has learned about this camera and it's um, keep it in its memory so I'm gonna take a picture now at 500 shutter speed 500 and I noticed that I still got a black barn but now on the other side of the picture so the the top level of my picture is black so I must tweak it a little bit and turn a little bit on the dial and take another picture and it's improved I think still a little bit black on top of the picture Take another one so you can see now that there are no black bars in the picture anymore and uh, I notice when you increase your shutter speed like say I go to 8000 and take another picture um, increase a little bit my aperture so you notice that there's only a small part of the the picture is uh, there's a little bit of light here over here so let's look if I can tweak that a little bit so I notice when you when you try uh, higher sync, uh, higher speeds like 8000, then um, at a quarter power power my speed lights now a quarter power. It's not possible to get a right picture without bounce. So I'm gonna increase my power of my speed light to full power and. increases my aperture a little bit take a picture so and now 
tweak a little bit with the dial on the trigger. And it's working. I don't have bars anymore in my picture. So I think it's a very nice feature. Um, if you use it, you must still uh, tweak every time a little bit with the dial to get the, the right picture without barns. But it's working and... Um, okay, I think i never seen it before on other triggers. So it's a new feature for uh, manual triggers. Um, so I can give a test fire by pressing the button on top. And when I want to use the uh, flash, the trigger with other uh, cameras, I can um, reset the, the the memory of the trigger by uh, pressing this button and keep it hold for a while. And you see that the LED is blinking. Uh, let us show that it's in learning mode again. So I'm going to show you the last option of the trigger and that's the hold functionality. So I put the, the switch to hold, the function switch to hold and now I can press this button and I can, the first when I press it halfway then my camera is uh, focusing and when I push it all the way down then I can make a picture. So you can hear the lens focusing and take the picture. So it's a nice feature, come extra on this uh, trigger. So overall uh, I think it's well uh, well built. Uh, I think the knob um, to tighten it on the light stand or to your camera is a little bit small. People with small fingers it's not easy to, to tighten it to your camera. Um, the high speed sync functionality it's not the same like let's like say Canon or Nikon uh, functionality of high speed sync but uh, with the tweak dial uh, you can get a picture without barns if you go beyond sync speed so I think um, it's nice to have that on your trigger and um, okay I'm gonna do some more tests with studio strobes and look if we can fire with studio strokes above sync speed. Um, and I hope you enjoy my video and watch my website for more information about this trigger. Thank you very much.